To make this cookie, I started by outlining the silhouette of this little bunny. I used medium consistency royal icing. I fill up the little color of the dress with icing as well. I use floating consistency icing in natural color to fill up the head, the hands and the little feet of the bunny. For the dress, I tinted a little bit of floating consistency icing in pink. As you can see, I didn't fill up one of the arms of the bunny and neither the little tail. Now I am going to let dry my cookie completely. Now that my cookie is completely dry, I am going to use a little bit of pearl spray and I am going to use a little stencil to make a gingham effect on the dress of the bunny. Now I am going to fill up the arm and the little tail. To give a little bit of dimension to the little tail, I am going to add sandy sugar. To make the bunny's face, I am going to use a little bit of watercolor edible paints. For the mustache and the eyes, I am going to use an edible marker. I am going to add some other little touches to the little dress using the same watercolor edible paints.
This bunny is super cute and it's getting ready for Easter. And I am ready to add the last touches to this cookie. I am going to use mini edible pearls to add to the little Peter Pan color to the bunny's dress. Okay guys, this is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you like this video and if you're new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and see you next time. Happy Easter everyone. Bye bye.